Hi guys, welcome to another what's in my bag video. This is the video for August and this is the bag that I am currently carrying with me on a daily basis. Um, I have purchased this bag a year ago and I have only used it once um, because I did not manage to fit into it. It might seem to be quite large as a bag and for some people it might be but when I had to consider um, putting in my pockets, uh, my wallet, my phones, um, my planner and all the things and all the stuff that I usually carry with me, I was not fitting in this bag. So three or four days ago, I just decided that somehow I had to fit in this bag because I wanted so much to use it. Um, I'm so in love with this bag and since I had been using it only once, um, it was a pity that it was just with all my collection of bags and not being used. And yeah, I just wanted to find a way on how I could put myself into this bag. And I did manage. By the way, this bag resembles a Michael Kors bag. It's not a Michael Kors bag. It's a bag that I've got on eBay and I will be including the link in the description box down below the video for you just in case you like this bag and you would like to have it. Um, and I am going to take you through my bag and show you basically what I've got in it, what I have changed and the new pockets that I have got in this bag. This bag is quite spacious. Let me show you a bit the depth of it, but I do have a lot of things to carry with me. So I, just managed to fit into it but i would have liked to fit better into it because as you will be seeing i'm on top of it i'm at the top of the bag that the moment it closes the things come exactly um, with the zip so you can see when it closes my sunglasses pocket here touches the zip because it's filled to the brim but anyways, I am happy that I finally managed to fit in here. Let me take you through it and let me show you what I've got in this bag. So the first thing that you are going to find here are my sunglasses. I have, I do keep my sunglasses in these types of pockets, but I also keep my sunglasses in the plastic bags that they come up with. Uh, and yeah, it's just additional protection. So those are my aviator sunglasses. Then I've got my usual pocket here. Usually there is my phone and all the cords and my battery pack, my battery charger pack. It's in here also. This is a pocket I think you have been seeing in all the what's in my bag videos. I tried changing it, but I always went back to it because it's the best one that I have. Um, I tried purchasing others, um, but I did not feel comfortable in them like I feel in this one here. So I always go back to it. Then let me show you. What I have is this new guy here. This is something that I purchased um, when we were abroad. And this is a coin purse, as you can see, but I have decided to keep it um, for keys. Usually I have a person with me lately that continuously wants to offload the keys to his car. So this is the best way where I can put it because otherwise his keys will end up just going around in my bag and I will spend half an hour looking for those keys. So yeah, a pouch like this, which is also cute, just comes in handy when I need it. So another thing is my new wallet from Gorgeous. It's a pink wallet. Obviously I'm not going to open it because I have credit cards and money and identification cards and God knows what else. So here there is quite a bunch of personal things, but it's a new wallet. I did purchase it when we were abroad also. And yeah, I love it. Then what else? The usual tissue pack and my usual hankies antibacterial wipes. I would never go out without these. 
for sure. Then I have here my foldable bag. This always lives in my bag. As you can see, it's a wonderful organized bag. This is how I love them to be. And I managed to fit everything. But anyway, so this is a foldable bag, as I said. Um, I think you have seen it in all the what's in my bag videos. What I have on the sides, I'm just opening the sides at the moment. This is my prescription glasses, the usual ones that have been appearing in all the what's in my bag videos so far. I don't change them. Then let's go on to the four most different things from the other what's in my bag videos. This is my planner. So I moved to a Franklin Covey and this has, I think, a 1.25 inch rings. I managed to find one. Oh, it was like uh, a treasure hunt, just getting one like this. Not exactly for the planner cover, but more for the rings. I do keep a chunk of papers in there. At the moment, this is my only planner. I don't have any other planners. I think I have found my planner piece because I have got everything in this guy here. Um, at the moment, I have the day one Franklin Covey. As I said, I did purchase this from eBay. Um, I don't know whether it will be available, but I will try to include a link to this one too if I manage to find it. Um, it's a very structured planner. Um, I did have a lot of things in there. Um, but as I said, I am following everything through this. I don't have any other planners at the moment. I have used it as the One Book July and I am very, very happy about this. Um, what I have in here never changed from the previous uh, planner videos and what's in my bag videos is just the cover. But I was also happy to fit it in this bag. So it's the most chunkier thing and the most heavy thing I have in my bag for sure. Now, the three pockets that I have changed, the first one is I have changed to this one, which is my favorite. It's a strawberry-like pocket. And here it holds all my stationery. Let me just remove a bunch of things which I really don't want to show on camera. Yeah, I've got my usual stuff there, my... Um, correction tape, my favorite, which is the Stabilo 0.4 fine pen, my big pens, which are also my favorites. This is the usual stationary stuff I had in all the previous what's in my bag. I basically just changed the pocket, nothing else. Um, but I did change the pocket because first I wanted to try some new pockets that I had. And second, because I just wanted to, here I do have some paper clips, a pair of scissors, some of these page flags. That's what I carry with me for my planner, nothing else. And I did purchase this pocket, by the way, on eBay, and I will be including the link in the description box down below the video too. And now let's go to the other two pockets that's there. The first one is this sort of marble look uh, pocket. Let me just put it a little bit there. So this is my makeup pocket. As you can see there, I do have a mirror. I have a hairbrush. I have my usual stay mat um, from Rimmel in the ivory 100 color. Then I've got um, an Apocalypse Lip Lacquer. This is from Rimmel too, but I have it, I've had it I think for two or three years now. So it's, um, the writing on it, it's basically getting removed. I have added this one, which is a new one. Um, this is for doing, it's a sponge for doing foundation. Then I've got my Essence touch blush um, in the color 10 peach me up then I've got my uh, let me just check it out from Maybelline 
um, water shine gloss and I don't know whether there is the number no there isn't I think but I, I have had this for a very very long time a lot of the things I've had them for a long time I do keep a small bottle of perfume in my makeup bag and I do keep it in a ziplock bag just in case something gets out of it then I have a mascara from wet and wild a max volume mascara I do have brushes and brush this is an eyebrow brush and another brush and then I've got from stay glossy from Rimmel this is another lip gloss so you can see it's quite shiny and glittery I love that then I've got an essence glossy lip balm cherry brownie some hair clips then I've got from essence girls want to have fun and this is um, one just me and my girls then I've got a 180 vintage pink lipstick from Rimmel um, it's a quite used because I love this color then I have a wet and wild pressed powder in the number E H23C neutral beige and then I've got an SOS lip relief and a bunch of samples for perfumes I do like to keep the samples they gave me at the perfumeries because they are very much uh, they are small they are easily to carry and yeah the fragrances just um, I can have different fragrances with me in my makeup pocket um, through these types of samples and then the last things that I have in my makeup pocket I have this eyeshadow sponge I have from wet and wild again um, this is a felt tip eyeliner hopefully it shows well um, a crayon eyeliner and it's a felt tip eyeliner in black from wet and wild and you can see it there then I've got another eyeshadow brush. I've got my favorite from Essence, which is the Black Fever uh, Long Lasting Eye Pencil. Then I've got from Essence 2 the Eyebrow Pencil in O2 Brown. And I have another brush. So that's what I've got. And here are a bunch of plastic bags. For, and this is also a comp a plastic bags for sanitary towels I like to keep them there just in case because you never know let me just put back a bit all these things I will reorganize them later but um, this is all basically that I carry with me when I'm on the go in my bag um, yeah I will organize them later and as I said Oh, there is my loyalty card pouch. Here I do have all the cards, um, subscriptions and everything related to cards um, wherever I go uh, to do shopping, etc. So I do keep them in this one. I had linked this pouch um, in one of the what's in my bag videos in the previous ones um, because there was someone that asked me about this uh, sort of I don't know pocket pouch I don't know what to call it um, if I do manage to find the link I will include it once again and the last marble look pouch is this one this is my walking pharmacy you remember there was also a video about it everything remained the same I just changed the bag I really like the bag it has this cute tassel over here it's a marble look bag these bags are really really lightweight um, if I had to give you a description I think they are lightweight same as a ziplock bag or something in that region and this is something that I really liked because since I do have to carry quite a lot of things with me in my bag um, I do love them a lot because they are very lightweight they are good quality at the same time but they are still very um, easy to carry easy to clean 
and they are not heavy even with the things in them they do seem to be um, quite lightweight too even though I do have a lot of things and you can see the usual stuff that I have in my walking pharmacy and I do have woman products um, hand creams from Essence and a lot of things so the usual stuff that I usually show you in all my what's in my bag videos and then my uh, walking pharmacy video that I have showed you the essential pouch I did have ordered uh, a lot quite I think I have ordered in total four of these pouches because I'm using uh, another two in my bathroom but I have reordered a bunch of these because as I said they are lightweight they are very good and easy easy to clean um, I will be including the link to these pouches in the description box down below the video for you just in case you like them and you would like to get um, a bunch of these pockets there are various uh, types different sizes different lengths different um, shapes and designs so I think that um, if you are looking for a very good pouch, these are quite the best I think I have found um, all over eBay maybe because I have purchased so, so many pouches that I have forgotten about how many pouches I have, you know. But anyways, um, yeah, I'm always trying to change what I've got in my bag also for you to see and to be able to give you just a helping hand out there if you are looking for something that you might be liking and might also be inspiring you. So I hope that you have liked this what's in my bag video. Um, I did manage to fit in this bag. By the way, it does have also feet as you can see here. This is the bottom part of it and it has four feet. So it's a very beautiful bag. I'm happy that I managed to fit into this bag. But anyways, until the what's in my bag video, take care. Bye.